So I decided to live on the lawn because I thought it would really be a great opportunity to be right in the mix. In my view, there's no better way to learn about a place than having informal conversations with people um, and students in particular. I think especially just starting out, even though I was a faculty member here for 15 years, there's still an awful lot I need to learn about the undergraduate experience in particular and what better source than talking to undergraduate students. Can you talk a little bit about your Ars to Shape initiative yeah. and what it is and how students will be affected by it? Yeah, so similar to the idea of asking undergraduate students about their experience to learn about the university. The Ars to Shape website is an opportunity for all members of our community, broadly defined, students, faculty, staff, alumni, um, those who live in the Charlottesville and Albemarle um, County communities, uh, to share their views essentially about the future of UVA. One of the biggest jobs I have this year is articulating a vision for the future of UVA and then turning that into a strategic plan that will guide what we do over the next five to eight years. Are you hoping to incorporate any policies or practices from your time at Harvard here at UVA? Oh, uh, that's, nice, that's a nice question. Um, one is um, a focus on increasing the diversity of faculty. Um, and the second is, um, and also on the diversity theme, uh, we had a community-wide conversation around the topic of fulfilling the promise of diversity. And the basic idea was, what can we do to move beyond the fact that we have a diverse group of people um, on our campus to actually take advantage of the benefits of that diversity? And the third is, and this is consistent with the second, um, we instituted this uh, event that we started as well, one time a year but went to two times a year called Double Take. Um, and that's just an opportunity. I don't know if you've ever seen them, uh, listen to the Moth Radio Hour. It's just um, real people telling real stories uh, recorded live. And we did that on campus and invited faculty, students, and staff to participate. And it was an incredibly powerful experience because it opened the eyes of people who were in the audience or listened online to the fact that everyone has a story. And you may think that you know my story and I may think I know yours, but odds are if we're not yet friends, we don't. And you could see in the audience people looking to the left and looking to the right a little bit more curious about their stories after listening to others. Um, and we're actually going to do a double take session as part of the inauguration. You brought up your vision for the university yeah. and how it's um, centered around these three main themes. Yeah. Do you think that at this point you'd be able to articulate the vision or do you think it's still in the preliminary stages? Oh, I'm still playing around with it mm -hmm. a bit yeah, um, and, mull and, <laughs> and mulling things over. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I will talk a little bit about what I've seen so far and what I see um, when uh, I give a speech at my inauguration. Okay, great. Well, we'll, we'll be there. All right. <laughs> um, Me too.